Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Missy Money channel. I'm Missy, I'm a mom of three and the owner of Missy Money, a small business that specializes in minimalist and aesthetic cash stuffing essentials to help inspire and motivate you on your personal finance journey. Today I'm going to be unstuffing from the first pay period of May, I'll be cash stuffing my second May paycheck, and then I'll also be contributing to savings challenges. If that sounds like it might be helpful for you, stay tuned. So I'm going to go ahead and either roll over or unstuff from my first pay period of May. Um, so I just have my uh, weekly wallet here and I'm going to go ahead and look and see what I have left over from this last pay period. So I've got $5 in groceries. I'm going to go ahead and unstuff that. Nothing left in food delivery, nothing left in gas. I have $20 left in entertainment. Um, I will go ahead and unstuff that. I have got $3 left in kids. I'll unstuff that. I have got $15 left in miscellaneous, and I'm actually going to unstuff that as well. So um, this week, I am not going to roll over any of my envelopes, so we'll just start fresh when it's time for cash stuffing. So I'm just going to set this money aside for now, and then um, at the end, I will go ahead and use that to stuff savings challenges. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to visit my paycheck breakdown and cash planning sheet for this pay period. And this is the one from last pay period. So this is the one from this pay period. And I'll just quickly review kind of what I use this sheet for. So every time I get a paycheck, I fill out a pay period breakdown and cash planning sheet. This just helps me to understand how my paycheck is going to break down across all of my different budget categories and then helps me understand what portion of that paycheck I need to keep in the bank versus what I need to take out in cash. So for this paycheck um, and for most of my paychecks. What I do is I keep my bill categories, my debt categories, and then my investment categories within the bank. For each of my bills and debts, um, I look to my monthly goals for guidance. And because I'm a weekly paid employee, I typically have four paychecks in a month. So I evenly split my contributions to bills or my monthly goals for bills and debts across those four paychecks. So I am um, setting aside 25% of my monthly bill and debt payments from this paycheck, and I'm just going to keep those funds in the bank. I can do that because I'm one month ahead on my bill and debt payments. If you have any questions about how that works and how to pay bills and debts, I have a cash stuffing for beginners um, tutorial video posted that you can go reference to see exactly how that works. But I keep my bill, debt, and then um, investment contributions for this paycheck in the bank. Then I cash stuff um, all my variable expenses and those variable expense categories go into my wallet. So my wallet is kind of my thing that I keep with me on a daily basis. It's my easy cash access for things that I typically run into more frequently throughout the pay period. And then in terms of what gets stuffed into binders envelopes, those are my sinking fund categories. So I also will pull out cash to cash stuff for my sinking funds. I do not um, contribute typically with my paychecks to savings challenges because I'll just use my leftover cash at the end of a pay period that I pull out from my um, budget wallet as the primary source of my contributions to savings challenges. If you do want to plan for savings challenge contributions within your monthly goals and within each paycheck, you can absolutely do that too. And so I just have my cash planning summary that told me how much I needed to withdraw. So that was $895 for this paycheck. And then just a summary where I could double check that I was getting to net zero for a zero based budget for this paycheck, which is what I did. So this just gives you an idea of um, the forms that I fill out or the templates that I fill out just to make it a little bit easier for me to cash stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side so I can reference it and make sure that I'm stuffing the right amount in each of my cash stuffing categories. So I'm going to start with my wallet and the the categories within the wallet. Again, these are just my variable expenses. So my wallet is what I keep with me on a daily basis. It's a essentially a wallet replacement. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and start with cash stuffing that. I already went to the bank, so I've got my cash ready to go. So go ahead and put that in my cash tray. And 
And again, this cash just matched the total on my cash planning sheet. So that made it really easy for me to fill out a cash withdrawal slip and a quick and easy trip to the bank. Okay, so I am all set to begin cash stuffing. So this week for groceries, I am gonna put in my usual $200. And 200 is about typically what we need for a week's worth of groceries for our family of five. Food delivery, I have 150. Again, if you've seen my last um, videos, you'll know that I'm trying to work this amount down, but reality is there's just a lot going on in our family and this is the one place we choose to splurge and that works for us and our family right now, but hopefully over time we'll be able to work that down. Gas is getting $20, I just filled up, so I might not end up spending that this week, we'll see. Entertainment is getting $30. I use this for a variety of things, either like family fun outings, sometimes we go to a little neighborhood um, a soft serve um, for some ice cream, so that could come out of entertainment as well. Shopping is getting $20. Typically use this for just online purchases, random stuff we need. A lot of that goes to Amazon. And then kids is getting $60. And then miscellaneous is $50. And again, I use miscellaneous as sort of a catch-all. If I didn't plan well for my weekly expenses, I have a little bit of an overage in a category. Miscellaneous is kind of my fallback category. Um, my spent envelope has some funds in it from my first pay period where I used a credit card and I moved money from um, some of my other categories into my spent envelope to represent those credit card purchases. I'm not going to unstuff that until the end of the month, so I'm just going to leave that as is for now. And that is my wallet. Next, I'm going to go ahead and stuff my sinking funds. All right, so first is vacation. So I'm gonna put $50 into vacation. I think we're gonna end up taking, we're looking at, which is gonna be crazy expensive, I'm gonna to need to up my um, contributions to vacations if we do this, but we're thinking about taking, going down to Florida, spending a couple days in the Disney parks, and then hopping on a Disney cruise. We've never been on a Disney cruise before, and I've heard amazing things. If you have been on a Disney cruise, drop a note in the comments because I would love to know if you loved it. Um, so I'm going to add $25 to health and medical. So that gives us 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, 140 in health and medical. Man, I got this paper cut that will just not heal because it's in the worst place. And every single time I nick it on something, it just reopens the scab. It's driving me crazy. Give me one second. Literally had it for over a week. Okay, Um. next is our insurance premium. So that is getting... $15. So now insurance has 50, 100, 50, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. I'm trying to not use my thumb to cash stuff, which is going to make it awkward, but... Okay, home maintenance is getting 25. So home maintenance now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30. Car maintenance is getting 10. So car maintenance now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. 
Holidays. Holidays is getting 40. So Holidays now has 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. Self-care. Self-care is getting 20. So self-care now has 20, 40, 50. Oh, hello. 20, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2. Pet care. Pet care is getting 25. So pet care now has 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Events. Events is getting 10. So you now have 20. Donations is also getting 10. So we are now have 10, 20, 25 in donations. really hard to do without using my thumb. Okay, clothing is getting 25. So clothing now has 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. I think I might need to dip into that this week. I need to get the kids some new uh, bathing suits. Kids activities is getting 60. So kids activities now will have 50, 100, 110, 120, 121, 122. Ooh, hello. You count that one. 50, 100, 110, 120, 125, 126, 127. Gifts is getting another 20. So we now have 40 in gifts. And then school is getting another 10. Now have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, so that is our sinking fund contributions for this paycheck. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and take the money that I had left over from the first pay period, and I'm going to go ahead and use that to contribute to um, sinking funds. So let's see what I've got. I've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 2, 3. Okay, so the first savings challenge I am going to contribute to is the 52-week challenge. So um, I've been contributing to the 52-week challenge since the beginning of the calendar year. So this week will make week 18 for me. So I'm going to go ahead and find envelope 18. And I always do this one first to make sure that I've got um, the flexibility and the funds that I have to be able to contribute. So... I do have $18. If you don't have the exact change, you can always just either get change or you can round up to whatever you have. So that is the number 18 envelope. I'm going to go ahead and mark that one off on my tracker. The challenge always goes by so fast. All right, and that is week 18 for the 52 week challenge. And the other savings challenge I'm going to contribute to today is going to be um, the monthly savings challenge. So I have got $25 that I can contribute to my May 12-month savings challenge. Um, and so for me, each symbol on my May tracker is worth 
$5. So by contributing $25, I'm able to fill in five symbols today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm just going to take all of that and pop it back into my May envelope until I'm ready for the next contribution. So that's it. Thanks so much um, for joining while I cash stuff the second week of May. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. I do cash stuffing videos every single week. So if this is something that's interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And as always, I wish you a simple budget, a calm mind, and a happy life. Thanks so much for watching.